I would now give space to Clara Veličkova because her project is also somehow connected with the, at least with this generation, but also with Beran. And then uh, we can have a time for discussion and uh, also some short break just to recollect uh, our thoughts. Clara, uh, floor is yours. Thank you. I will uh, try to share. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Barbara, for organizing this meeting to create us um, the space for the discussion uh, where we can uh, share, share uh, our ideas or issue we need. Uh, uh, the name of my presentation is Zdeněk Beran, uh, the artist interview expose and uh, I would like to say that it's really a very young idea, like uh, two weeks to, uh, to give you the imagination uh, that uh, this is really an idea of uh, how the idea could uh, look like, or uh, and uh, it's the idea in progress. And during my as a presentation, I am asking if this is the idea which could be developed um, if it's uh, really realistic to to make this this kind of project, um, the artist interview as a conservation tool uh, it's probably known to you. Um, uh, during the artist interview, we try to collect the and the information about the artist in information as uh, artist first ideas concerning the artwork, the working process, the technique and materials use, the installation, uh, the artist's opinion on the expected degra degradation or, or of the storage or even the conservation treatment, if any. Uh, the artist's interview is specific uh, because it's leaded with art historian. That's a common thing, but with, uh, in cooperation with a conservator or photographer, video maker, or even journalist. Um, uh, these um, group cooperation uh, can bring us the really complex information about the artist. Uh, the pioneering book for for uh, this phenomena is uh, the artist interview edited by uh, uh, Lydia or uh, uh, published by Lydia Berkens and uh, Collective in 2012, uh, and that, uh, which which bring which give us uh, the uh, guideline really step by step, but also contains um, 10, 10 interviews with uh, living artists. Then there is uh, one more publication, the recent one, which uh, brings more informa more detailed information on the. In, in the practical way, like uh, uh, co concerning the legacy or uh, the post-production of the interviews. Um, uh, um, the uh, artist interview can be uh, later used uh, when if, if we are working uh, with the decision-making models co uh, co uh, concerning uh, some, some artwork. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so it's a uh, it's a common common tool. Let's say common tool uh, used uh, in um, world world uh, world uh, art um, in um, in uh, abroad in the Czech <laughs> in the Czech Republic. There there has uh, not been uh, this phenomena applied yet. Uh, there are some. Uh, Book book published from from the uh, deep uh, to the recent history, but really very few, and usually they are uh, giving us the information on artist statements, opinion on his studio or political context, but the uh, kind of complex information uh, concerning the working process, materials used. Uh, uh, in detail, like a varnishing, framing, or uh, the, in, the opinions on installations or degradation uh, is missing. Uh, one, uh, uh, two, I would like to highlight, it's um, uh, the book uh, Czech Studios, where also uh, a few pages uh, 
uh, of the Zenek Beran art. Zenek Beran art published, but uh, the text is a uh, um, kind of description of one art historian uh, or the description of the Zdeněk Beran uh, studio. Uh, the other uh, other book is uh, has name um, Obsession, uh, published by Vladimir uh, uh, 580, as you can see from the uh, 2015. Uh, this is a unique, a unique publication uh, with authentic um, uh interviews uh but, but they are as 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 i have said uh, uh more, more more focusing on the uh, artist statements and on the studios and the materiality uh, um, on the role of the materiality in the uh, artist's lives uh, um, uh if i imagine uh Zdenek beran uh uh, the Zenek Beran as a as an art as an artist. Uh, there is a huge uh, vari variety of uh, uh, of of uh, ways uh, how he works. Uh, as I am a painting conservator, so here is just an example from the uh, document uh, made by uh, Česká televize. And um, if we are focusing uh, only on the paintings, you see the delicate uh, uh, painting with the with many layers, uh, very precisely uh, superposed on the left hand side. From the video, you can, if you zoom, you can see the uh, bottles, maybe kind of brushes he used, and uh, we can ask or we can we can try to find. What exact what brand he used or what exactly medium he used. Then on the on the right hand side you see the other way and uh, it's it's made in the same time. So there is uh, the uh, very um, spontaneously the the painting made very spontaneously. You see a lot of uh, bottles and uh, boxes with even even with the. Uh, wall painting, uh, wall painting materials, and uh, you you can see in the video many uh, tools he use as a, as are different kind of uh, uh, brooms, uh, not the not the brushes and 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 so on. So with the, um, with uh, uh, with more material and tools uh, with. Uh, as the number of the materials and tools uh, increase, uh, the the, uh, the number of the question increase as well. Uh, to uh, better understand uh, Zdenek, Zdenek Beran uh, uh, ever, uh, uh, um, the creation of the timeline is uh, uh, plays the key, key role uh, in in uh, in my way of thinking of him. Uh, he, um, uh, I would like to know that the, note that this is uh, really in progress. So, uh, I I uh, highlighted uh, some te painting themes he he uh, he follows in his life. Of course, the the photos uh, and uh, photos of uh, paintings and installation will be will be added. Uh, then uh, the timeline of uh, separate separate complicated. Uh, installations or or uh, this environment can be done to to see how the appearance to see how the appearance change so i will not uh, uh, summarize again what barbara has men had mentioned but uh, i i will, uh, i think you can you can uh, it's uh, it's uh, pretty clear uh, even in in that overview uh, fortunately the the the, the so some documents of his of Zdenek Beran uh, life life uh, had had been uh, done during his life so we can we can get uh, we can get the the we can uh, uh, get some some uh, some answers on the questions we we are posing but uh they are they are they are not uh, comp complete uh, so, um, 
so, so one of them is the document uh, Česká televize had made. Then there are um, pretty detailed websites of Zdeněk Berant's uh, painting studio at Academy of Fine Art, as he was a um, leading professor for 22 years. So it's a pretty long, uh, long period to meet uh, other painters and uh, so to, to have persons persons to ask to. Um, the artist interview as a, a conservation tool is uh, divided to four uh, parts from from the uh, like uh, uh, from opening uh, to through the core to the final part and in the artist interview book there are uh, clear uh, steps uh, which which you you can follow to to cover all the problematic. Uh, you face too. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, as, and as you could see uh, in, the, uh, in the past presentations, uh, Zdeněk Berant uh, ever was really uh, multidisciplinary. He, he uh, works uh, uh, with the drawings, paintings, uh, delicate or expressionist. He he likes to make objects, models, installation, and uh, and also the environment for, for and also the photos. Uh, we have a lot of outdoor uh, out, um, photos made by outdoor. Uh, so uh, there should be uh, made the groups of complex uh, questions. And uh, the idea is to pose them the, to the different people. Uh, corresponding to the uh, different periods of uh, Zdeněk Beran's life. Uh, a special is issue would be focus on the rehabilitation department of uh, the the And uh, the key key point is that the scenario, scenario <laughs> sh uh, should be prepared and discussed uh, with both the curator and conservator conservators. Uh, uh, now I would like to uh, mention the names, uh, uh, but uh, uh, please know, know, know that the names are based really on uh, my personal experience with uh, Zdeněk Beran as, uh, as a conservator uh, in, uh, in the conservation department in National Gallery, or uh, as well as the uh, student uh, at Academy of Fine Arts in the period Zdeněk, uh, I was studying um, in academy uh, and I uh, was uh, lucky to meet Zdeněk Beran uh, as, uh, as well. So some of my uh, colleagues uh, st studied um, in his studio. So I just highlighted uh, some, some students uh, to cover the 22 years of his, of his uh, uh, leadership, leadership, let's say, uh, in the Academy of Fine Arts. Uh, the, the, um, unfortunately, we cannot ask uh, to, uh, his assistants uh, because both of them uh, has had passed away. But then we can ask uh, his uh, peers or colleagues, uh, um, uh, uh, either colleagues or or the artists. Um, as, as were uh, Milan Knížák or Jan, Jan Kříž, Mahulena Nešlehová, uh, Vlastimil Tětiva, and hopefully <laughs> I will have other possi possibilities to discuss with uh, Barbara. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, the, the next slide present uh, just the way how, how to think, uh, how, how I would try to think about um, the questions, how to create them. So firstly, I uh, would like to uh, formulate what I would like to know and then uh, to, to formulate the right question because not always is, is the same. Uh, if, if um, Sometimes it's hard to uh, formulate the, the question in the right way to get to get the answers uh, for for the the. Uh, which which you you wish uh, wish to to uh, got uh, to get mm. 
so one of the example is uh, exactly like uh, if the person have ever seen Beran uh, during the working process so uh, they might uh, it might have be uh, uh, an experience which uh, the person do not realize on the first task but then yeah yeah I have seen and then we can ask for uh, some details uh, co concerning the conservation and concerning the uh, rehabilitation department um, there is a, a really nice uh, sentence uh, said, said by Zdeněk Beran in the document I have mentioned and he is saying uh, something like I am just waiting for it to go away on its own but uh, which hasn't uh, yet so but he's not saying that in the set way so uh, this was a really uh, nice moment for me to realize that he somehow liked the materiality of even uh, damaged and destroyed <laughs> destroyed um, objects uh, as i said uh, from the position of painting uh, conservation i worked uh, out a bit more on the uh, questions uh, uh, concerning the paintings so uh, as I mentioned, uh, the the guide from the artist interview is very useful, so we can uh, the the questions can be somehow uh, slightly modified and used. And th then uh, there there is one more question: Did he uh, really make all of his artwork uh, just by himself, or um, does uh, did there there exist a assistant who maybe helped him? Uh, in somehow um, in some in some installation or uh, what was his opinion on framing etc uh, uh, to summarize of course um, the answers uh, which will be collected uh, are uh, kind of uh, semi authentic because um, we have to uh, kept on mind that we are facing the information given uh, not by the artist himself, but by the people involved who were close to the artist, closer than the future conservators, art historians or other experts might ever be. So the information is still somehow uh, relevant, uh, of course, better, better than any. Uh, and uh, to to uh, the uh, to the end, uh, I I wish um, this this kind of uh, practice can can be the start can start the uh, practice of making uh, artist interview with the living artist uh, in in a Czech uh, Czech um, uh, in Czech Republic because they are uh, names who uh, and. Uh, artists who who also uh, which um, to whom we would like to ask uh, many many questions uh, actually these three examples are the ones uh, which I which problematic I I could uh, see in in the modern and contemporary collection of uh, National Gallery in France. Um, so uh, thank you for your attention and also in the <laughs> presentation uh, the the question is is still uh, is still present so if if uh, the artist interview exposed uh, can be uh, is an idea which uh, could be developed Thank you very much, Clara. It was super interesting. And yes, as you said, we are just starting with this kind of working with artists uh, uh, during the acquisition process and afterwards. So I think it's super important also. This is kind of interesting for me. Uh, there is still no, no, at least in my opinion, uh, no base for a theoretical uh, approach to con conservation as, and restoration, at least as I know, uh, but I might be mistaken. And actually, just to open the field for some discussion, because um, uh, we should discuss also this kind of issues. There will be something I would ask actually restorers, not just necessarily from the Czech, uh, Czech Republic, but if they have this kind of experience with theoretical approaches and uh, just establishing this field, because I know that Patricia actually dealt with this questioning and they are 
state using is this kind of questioning of art is when they acquiring a new uh, works of art and so on. So this is a really um, question from me, I would say, uh, to open the discussion. Yeah, I'm just going to to add to that. Uh, I know that we have a commission, which uh, uh, the acquisition commission, when when we are buying things, when we are acquiring works of art, uh, works in a in a sense they won't they would like to have a work of art which you can guarantee that will last for I don't know, uh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> not not necessarily forever, but hopefully at least like a a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> or at least until the end of the the artist's life and uh, but i have to say i already saw some pieces uh, being bought like recently with uh, the lifespan uh, presumed to be for maybe like 20 years 30 years and they're all uh, new synthetic materials which you have no idea how the artist worked what what did he add? That's the that's the worst thing when they start adding th things. And Beran Beran is the prime example of that. <laughs> he was just mixing and matching <laughs> whatever he had in the studio, and that's the thing that I love uh, I love about his work. And he had the, like the, the perfect result. We have no idea no idea how it will age. So that's that's a, a really a nice surprise that that will await. Uh, hopefully, maybe the next generation. <laughs> Not, not and hopefully I will not not uh, do do at the end of my career I will not be solving problems with the acquisitions that we are having now. <laughs> hopefully they will be lasting uh, uh, longer, but we'll see. You you never know. And of course, like uh, some some uh, uh, materials have to be have to be uh, um, put in in certain uh, climatic uh, conditions. We are trying to to uh, work around it in a way that we're trying to put plastics in the or uh, sensitive materials in in adequate temperatures and adequate lighting and so on to not not to put it through too much stress to to have uh, uh, a really short short time of uh, exhibiting it but we'll see hopefully it will be enough <laughs> uh I mean, from my perspective, I think I need to flag that I very, very rarely have to deal with anything that actually falls apart like that. <laughs> I, I'm, I, we have a whole team of sculpture conservators that deal with all those materials, and I'm very happy I'm not part of that team <laughs> because it's terrifying for me. My Our stuff mostly, you know, I mean, the, the, the conversation with the artist is so important because the work just comes, you know, only comes together when it's installed even more so than an installation, than, you know, a sculptural installation. Um, often there's nothing other than a file. So you, unless you actually talk to them and have the discussions early on, you really can't show it. Um, but I think, um, and so, but actually what we've come to in our process, we talk about an artist interview that always sounds very grand. And if we can do the grand, interview it's great because you know it, it's it really helps build the relationship with the artist and they understand better what we're doing but very often this interview is is actually a series of emails so not so glamorous it's yeah. like oh right, this is what we're doing it, it so it it's really helpful still but not necessarily you know the the, the one interview that covers all because what i think what we find is that as works you know, as actually not so much the technology changes and the artist changes. And so the more conversations you have, the better, because, you know, people change their opinions. Um, and so I, I'm not sure if I answered your question, Barbara. <laughs> I think that was sort of what I had in mind. No, I think it's it. perfect actually because it's more and more about constant relationship I would say and at least in my view we somehow skip this part very often something which is something entering the space of the museum it somehow cuts the relations with the artist on the other hand we are also cut in between institutions I mean and uh, the system in the institution also works against some sort of a cooperation because you have different departments and so on and it's very in the end always we end up on a personal level of course but I don't want to make it um uh the prime uh, thing of this uh, of this discussion is just kind of 
it's more about uh, connecting and thinking about ephemeral and uh, that everything is changing somehow. But on the other hand, we are not so much um, able to adapt to this kind of thing, actually, because we are always ending up with final piece. And this final piece has some sort of a definition. So that would um, basically, I guess, what I meant. And uh, we are a little bit over Shadal. Hopefully you are you don't mind that very much, but I would uh, like to give ourselves a little bit um, uh, of rest now just to, you know, take water or something like that. And maybe we can start with the second uh, panel in seven minutes, if that's fine with you, half past two, just to have yeah. a slow, slow uh, um, movement yeah. into the other segment. Mm -hmm. And we still have time to discuss other things later. So.